uh, I hope to bring forth, make Malaysia proud and let more people know how diverse and how amazing and how many cultures and different food and different people, just a mix of everything and that's what makes Malaysia special and I want to bring forth this, this whole idea and this whole, you know, like that. My fear would be um, stage fright. I, I know it's you know I went through stage fright last night, but then on international stages we need more pressure. So that way I will you know practice more public speaking and Q and A Q and A definitely. And you mentioned before that you were bullied in school. Is that where it comes from? That fight? Um, more like I was. You always called ugly <laughs> in school. Yeah, and the guru would, would tell me like, "Samantha, jangan bawa budaya barat ke sekolah." I hope. Yeah. And so I was always a different one in school. So all the teachers would pick on me. I'm always the one that influences the other children. You know, the one, the naughty one. You know, so anything they call my name first, Samantha. <laughs> Why did this? Why did that? And I'm like, I didn't do it, teacher. But. Um, so I was always the different one that made me really scared with, with, with communicating with people and insecure because people call me uh, Mr. Bean because yeah <laughs> because yeah. they said I was ugly and I look like Mr. Bean so yeah so so how did you overcome all that? I overcame it by uh, first by doing modeling because that made me gain my confidence, I had to, there's no other choice, but in the beginning in modeling as well, I did not have any confidence. I always thought I'd never get the job anyways, all the girls are so pretty. But then, um, I found ways to overcome it, like I used to write, write a lot, like I'm beautiful, I'm confident, I love myself, and I paste it on my wall, so every morning when I wake up, I would read it and tell it to myself, look in the mirror, and say to myself, I'm beautiful, Sammy, you're beautiful, you love yourself, I'm confident, and I don't need anyone to tell me. And I did that every single day, and it worked. Yeah. And who's been your pillar of inspiration and support? Uh, I would say my friends, but in the end, everyone else has their own lives to deal with, so I have always been my own inspiration and support.